Omicron was first reported in South Africa around November 24th. However, this does not mean that it originated from South Africa or any of the South African countries that are currently on the red list. In fact, cases of the Omicron variant have been traced back to other European countries such as Scotland, the Netherlands and Germany around the same November time period. And those affected with the variant have not been to any of these South African countries. The US and Australia can also add themselves to the growing list of countries where the variant has been found. Botswana did state that the first identified the variant on November 7th in some yet unidentified foreign nationals who were visiting the country on a diplomatic mission. So no one actually knows the origin of the Omicron variant, but all the South African countries were promptly placed on the red list, along with other African countries such as Nigeria, while the European countries are not on the red list, so make of that what you will. Bearing in mind the catastrophic and slow reaction of the UK government to the Delta variant from India, I think the government decided they did not want a repeat of the public backlash or risk of another lockdown which happened in February last year. But the question is, is the reaction to the Omicron variant justified? Is it more infectious or is it just mild like the flu or the common cold? I mean, we know that COVID is here for the foreseeable future. The virus has found ways to survive extreme temperatures and vaccines by mutating itself. So what do we do? Do we keep having restrictions or lockdown every time a new vaccine pops up? Or do we just learn to live with it and take precautions? I mean, we've heard all the news that the hospitalization rates in South Africa have increased by more than 100 or 200 percent, depending on what source you're reading from. In the UK so far, there are 5,000 confirmed cases and the daily rates of infection are said to be quadrupling with 50 percent in London alone though we know that these numbers are probably far higher. It is actually projected that there could be 1 million cases by December in the UK due to the Omicron variant alone. But how deadly is it? I mean, in the UK so far, there has been one reported death due to the Omicron variant. But we don't have any other background details, i.e. was there any underlying health problems? What was the age of the person? Gender? You know, was the death due to the Omicron variant or did the person just happen to have the variant? But if you put that one death in perspective, and my condolences to the family, but this is not something that will make you want to press the panic button and bring the whole population to a grinding halt. Obviously, there'll be more deaths, especially now that winter is here and the flu season has arrived. So what are the symptoms of the Omicron variant? I mean, the symptoms are thought to be slightly different from that of the Alpha and the Delta variant. So symptoms are scratchy throat, which is different from having a sore throat, um, dry cough, extreme tiredness or fatigue, muscle aches or joint pains, and night sweats. And they're usually thought to resolve within about five days. So these are not really symptoms that would cause you to be worried, especially if you're young, fit and healthy, and if you've had your vaccinations plus the booster which we'll come to in a second. However, if you have underlying health issues such as diabetes, heart problems, autoimmune conditions that will make you susceptible to the virus or immunocompromised or you're elderly, then your symptoms might be more severe. And as of yet, we don't know how effective these vaccinations truly are against the variant. Unfortunately, if you had your double vaccination and you're going around thinking that you're protected, think again. It is advised that you need a third jab, which is your booster jab, to confer some degree of protection. And even in countries like Israel, they are already on the fourth jab. So it is possible that by April of next year, we might need a fourth jab or even a fifth jab to be classed as fully vaccinated against any new variants that might come along. So what do you think? If you had COVID and you were told you had your Omicron variant, what was your experience? Was it like the mild flu? Or were the symptoms so serious that it warrants us having another lockdown? Or do you want us to have another lockdown because of variants? What do you think? You decide.